And then the big question is tin. Can actually run a belt past here. A belt over here. Let's pull you along. The tin belt is still all the way in the south. Like all the way in the south. And I think this used to be the tin belt, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Let's check where we end up. It's not glass. And we should load up on some... Yes, this was the tin belt at some point. <laughs> Good! Give me some of this. And some underground. And then some more of this. That should be fine. But the paddock is full of... No, wait. Uh, yeah, true and ruined. Ruined? Got to go. Promise, Cargon. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming back, Cargon, and I will be raiding you again soon. Did I actually do a shout out for you? I don't think so. There we go. Very important. If you do not know who he is, get over there, leave him a follow, and be nice to him. He's also a Factorio player, and he is a good guy. And I'm absolutely terrible at shoutouts. <laughs> I need somebody to do the shoutouts for me. I'm paying nothing. <laughs> Let's see. Um, these are the old paddocks. So let's pull it down over here. Yeah, two barrels on the wrong side. Yeah, they will be eaten at some point. And then just watch me, them never getting consumed and completely botching it up again. Where's that tin? Let's see. It's not here. It's not the. Ah, oh, just go under. I mean, who needs a beautiful factory? <laughs> There's the tin. Uh, cleaning up this mess will be such a nightmare. I mean, once we get trained and once we can defeat all these biters, we will be completely reimagining this factory. So, Tin is now coming up. And Tin is... Let's check this belt if it's going the right way. There we go, this goes over, this goes under. This goes over, this goes under, this goes, uh, currently it goes full in, but that's fine. And then it stops over there. And then we have to pull it over here. Under over, in we go. Final belt, iron. I have to pay the iron price. Let's see, how do we get through here? Probably the uh, long way around. Also, can't I place? No, I can't. Ah, oh, what kind of cliff is this? Troll cliff? Ah, another one. Now nah, we're going under. And then iron should be... Oh, I went the wrong way around. Iron should be over here. This could be a bus. And there we go. 
Cages automated. I think. Let me check real quick. You need two things, you get two things, you need one thing, you get one thing, and you are going to make cages. Excellent. So, this whole thing will start up soon. This is fine. Look at it. Yeah. Look at it. So, uh, we need one input. And then one input like this. And then this goes in like this. Actually, these in the middle here, these can be just yellow inserters. They do not need to be that fast. The blue ones over here, they need to be fast. And then the same over here. Then we also need access to this stuff. We also need to put the barrels back. So we do need this, this, and this. Perfect. Connect it all up. Some over there, some over there, some over there. These all have power. Perfect. There they go. Are the cages already coming in? No. Oh. This definitely needs to be blue. And probably the input needs to be blue. And you are still waiting on the tin. Which is coming over here at the slow space. Do we have some tin? Yes, we have. Here, take it. Go. Make it so. And then here comes the kit. Dang it! <laughs> here comes the first cage. <laughs> and that's on this side. Will then be picked up by this guy. And then the thing can go. Beep. Most excellent. And then the butchering can begin. Blood for the blood god. This will be underground. And then this. This. I have no clue what way, which way we're going with this blood. Actually, I do. We're going out this way, over there, with the blood, because I'm probably going to make the circuit factory maybe now over here. Our initial idea was maybe do it down here, but I think over here is a better idea. So we are going... Nope, not like this. We are going over this way with our blood. Perfect. More of this. Out, out, in, in. Copy this one over. In, in. Power, 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 power. These are going. These still need some arrocks. Then in, 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 in. We need some more power. There we go. They all have power. They all should be going soon. Then you. You need this as an input. Output, input. Power, power, three you go. Actually place this one over here so he gets some power. Good, this one's also going. And then down here, in, in, out, out. Long boy, long boy. This, that, this, that. Actually, place it over here, then you're connected. And then, oh, yes, these actually need to be these. Else we put the caged animals on the track. That's not a good idea. There may already be a caged animal on the track somewhere. 
Just go in circles for eternity. Yeah, you already made one. Let's hope it's not on the track. And if it is, we will see it go round and round and round and round. Good, these things are going now. I'm not seeing it on the track. So I think it went a good way. Uh, sorry, I missed some chat around. You can transfer animals between buildings. Um, how do you mean? The animals are technically modules, so no, we can't. I was making a joke if you uh, asking if that's blood because it's red. No, it's blood. Blood for the blood god. But then you <laughs> I say, whoops, my catchphrase. Uh, seems rather appropriate. Do you want to fill buildings with animals before you start slaughtering them? Um, wait, what? Do you want to fill the buildings with animals before you start slaughtering? Yes. Uh, the thing is, these work like this. Um, you have the recipe in there, and the recipe to create a caged arc is uh, three barrels of water, 50 biomass, a cage, and some moss. And uh, you get an, you get a 70% chance of a caged arc, and you get your barrels back. However, the recipe, uh, no, the crafting speed of these buildings is rather slow. If you do not put these arcs in, um, which give you a speed bonus of 5,000%, these buildings will do nothing, technically. Also, if you take them out, uh, you can see it over here, um, then they won't even work. Disabled by script. So I'm not quite sure why it's made like this, that it has to be a module if you can deactivate it by script and have the crafting speeds in there. Well, probably you could half stack them, but then maybe just make one of them or something, or make it more expensive. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, but once they are in, they are in there forever, and they will create these indefinitely. The only thing that uh, you have a deficit of is cages, because you only have a 70% chance. So sometimes a cage will go boom, and you do not get a harvest, which I didn't put in in this design, because as always, I looked at the crafting times, and the crafting time for one of these... Currently it's 160 seconds, but we are actually going for the recipe that, where is it? Over here, this one, which has a crafting time of 150 seconds and in higher uh, quality things, um, chance of actually working. So actually this will be running at 80% at some time. Also, I have an ingrown beard here again and it's super annoying. I will probably, oh, I got it. Ah. So annoying. But yeah, uh, and then the slaughterhouse is going to make this very, very good stuff. The meat, guts, bones, brains, and we are going to need that for pretty much everything. Good. And the cages seem to be going fine. These are, this thing is not working as fast as it can, which is a good thing, because so cages come in slowly. And they will, here comes the cage for example, in it goes, this now starts, and this will be putting its finger magic in here at some point, and once you slaughter these three beasts, it seems with the ox you produce, you would want to fill the other buildings before you start killing them off. Um, like I said, you do, not use the, you do not lose the modules, and you do not lose these, these are forever to keep. And we do have to make a few more, but we still have this paddock down here, which is behind uh, a radar shroud at the moment, where we can make more. We only have to put some cages in. And we have enough arcs in our inventory to fill this three quarters. So let's fill up this side real quick, and then let's get to it. Uh, also, this, this. Because you only need two orcs per paddock, and I have, I think, 90 in my inventory, and we have 60 paddocks, so we need 120 orcs. And uh, we only have to fill these up there, so good, 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 good. good. Uh, feedback loop is cancelled. This will only. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, this was correct. Everything goes in, yes. But we probably will need to make another moss farm because I'm not quite sure that this is making enough moss. 
This is making like three moths every 15 seconds and we need five moths every 150. Well, also for the other recipe where, yeah, five moths every 150. And in this thing, in this line, we have 20 paddocks. So we are going to require 100 moths every 150 seconds. So that's like... One moss every uh, 0.66 seconds. And uh, we're currently running at one moss every 0.2 seconds. So we're actually going to need four of these moss farms. So one is not enough. So we're probably going to have, we're probably going to place the moss farm over here and make four of them and rebuild this a bit. I was kind of hoping that one would be enough and we could just ram it in there because it looks nice. But now we are going to make a better moss farm down here. So we have to make four moss farms and then this whole thing will be going goldenly. So in, 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 in. And then we do need make all 19 out. I still have it in my, yes I do. Takes a while for them to be built, so let's just continue on with these. Positions! I've just set up my first tree farm uh, on my offline solo world. Well, I have made a slaughtering ground. We are going to make blood circuits. Because making Yuri out of blood is so much more effective than making them out of shit. And good night, church. Thanks for sticking around as always, and I will be seeing you around again. Yeah, uh, yeah, I have a bunch of already in my inventory. And we only have to make a few more, and uh, that's something we can do at our leisure. But let's set this uh, whole facility up. Uh, once this whole thing is going, and we, um, and we are getting enough meat in, then I'm going to call it for today. Also, the music has stopped. Let's restart the music then. Yeah, my playlist goes for pretty much six hours, which usually tells me, okay, it's now time to stop, but we're going to push through a little bit further. I really want to finish that thing. I really, really wanted to build my circuit factory today. Didn't happen again. Fuck. <laughs> to put it lightly, uh, we're probably going to need two of these. And we're probably going to need a bunch of copper. But with blood, we can make urea. And with the urea, we can almost make everything we need for these circuits. I kind of underestimated how long it takes for these animals to uh, be effective. Kind of thought it would be going faster. Also, I have 16 of these. I need at least 60 of these. And nope. Stop pocket crafting. And I probably need more of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I can do that in a day. Two weeks later. Uh, that's 24. What are we missing? Copper! But the reason why um, you say you can do that in a day and it takes uh, more than, uh, than the day you estimate is because you haven't understood the problem. And I definitely have not understood the problem I'm currently facing. <laughs> but that's the fun of it. Uh, yeah, make 27 of them and that should be fun. Wow, you're still making stuff in your pocket? Make 30 of them, and that should be fine. I must admit, I just popped back in before bed. <laughs> I'm also a bit over the clock, but it should be fine. So, oh, uh, these do not even have... ah. Oh wait 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 wait! These don't need even don't even need to be blue inserters. These can be yellow inserters. We are making so many ins inserters in our pocket. 
Uh, this is going to take a while. Yep. Well, we are pocket crafting. Let's go pick up some cages, actually. Yeah, there should be some cages going around. There are a few. There's one. There's one. We only need a few cages. Don't want to pick up any water barrels. There we go. Definitely not want to pick up those two water barrels because they are totally fun. How many cages is this? 10. Yeah, 10 should be fine. And with these 10 cages, we can kickstart the remaining hour breeding so that we can fill up those to the brim. Also, how's pollution doing? Whoa. Pollution is doing fine. This thing has stopped probably because uh, our tin line is full. Yes, good. And our tin nickel line. Or I get super sidetracked making something else because I kept going on Tanget after Tanget. Kind of like... Oop. Uh, kind of like clinking on Wikipedia links and you get pretty much any on Wikipedia's, Wikipedia pages. There's a fun Wikipedia game called How Many Clicks Until You Meet Hitler. <laughs> and you start on a random Wikipedia page and you have to get to the Wikipedia page of Adolf Hitler as fast as possible. <laughs> well, you could also do it with any uh, other celebrity. Nah, celebrity is wrong. Every other person out of there. <laughs> so, make some more hours, please. Also, tin is going slow. Yeah, today at work, I was absolutely non productive. I just really didn't want to do anything, so I did nothing. <laughs> I was just scrolling 9 all day and sitting on Twitch and watching Watch and watching uh, Primus Dragon still being awake after I raided him yesterday. And I was like, whoa, you're still going? Yep, I'm still going. <laughs> Which was kind of fun. I also set up the Amazon affiliate stuff, so I did at least do a little bit. Powtech! How are you doing? <laughs> Altec, we just made a large butchering round. Also, stop. Actually, they go pretty fast. That's fine. We have set up a butchery shop. Oh, we do need to... Actually, if we just pull you over. And then somehow go... Under, over, under... Yeah, this should be fine. This should be fine. The guts will be everywhere, but that'll yeah, be fine. And the thing I want to do... Oh, I should probably save that. Do it like this. Can we turn you around for a second? There, thank you. Upper priority. Uh, cage, 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 cage. There it is. Put the cage on the other side. You can come back, please. There we go. Look at all the stuff we're making. <laughs> there are brains, there's meat, there's skin, there are bones. There's everything in there. And we need these. Well, actually, we do not really need these right now. We do need, the, I think, the meat. Oh, the bone. We need the bone for green science. Not quite sure what we're going to do with the meat, but we're probably going to make a barbecue out of it or something. We can use the fat for power. We can use the... I think brains are part of blue science. And uh, not quite sure what we can do with the skin and the... Uh, what is it? And the guts. But... <laughs> yes, most definitely a barbecue. Good. And then, yes, yellow, yellow. Because these only need to trigger once every 30 seconds. So that's going to be fine.
So Haltech, did you have a good day today? Or actually, did they just start? Not quite sure where you're from. <laughs> I do like that you always have this completely international uh, sortiment of people out there and it's always fun to interact with each and every one of you. Best thing is when you start your stream in the morning and then you get raided by an Australian and you're just going to say, yeah, I'm going to sleep now. And you just sit there, wait, I just woke up. You already go to bed? Wait. <laughs> in, 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 in. This will be out, 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 out. This didn't work. In. Paste, paste. Good thing we still have this thing in. Wait. No, we didn't. And then in, 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 in. That should be fine. Oh, there's no recipe in here. That's weird. Denmark! Ah, Denmark is great. I have to visit Denmark at some point. So many of you guys are from Denmark. It must be great over there. Also, that's where the Vikings come from. And they ruled in Britannia for some time. Let's see. Output. Input. Input. Paste. There we go. And then we also need uh, this, 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 this. So with this, we have set it up one third of it. Oh, God. <laughs> As an American, I am very jealous. Well, sadly, you Americans just closed your border, which is a bit annoying. Okay. Um, let's sort food real quick. Uh, we do need... Yes, we can make a few more of these. This is not going to fly. Uh, what else is... Okay. Yeah, we need a better water supply. We need a better... Uh, we just need a better uh, moss farm. <laughs> so, one, one, two... Oh, wait. Actually, make it a little bit higher. There. One. And then maybe a bit more over. Here. Three, 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 and then this, copy, 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 copy. Yeah, just a bit. I'm not sure who the Denmark leader is, but <laughs> I bet he's not an orange. Yes. Or Mr. Garrison. Then again, in South Park, Mr. Garrison, did he not nuke the Danes? Or was it uh, Canada? I'm not quite sure. There were some, uh, some shenanigans happening. <laughs> okay, uh, we have a little problem. How do we get over there? It's a woman. Oh, that's nice. Let's see. Uh, go under here. No, wait. This won't work. Go under here. Go... Under there, you go all the way under over here. Then you come along, go up, go over, go in. <laughs> Works! And uh, we only need yellow inserters because these are also pretty slow. There they go. However, we do need 400 CO2 every 15 seconds. And how fast is this thing making CO2 if I place it over here? You are making... Oh, not this recipe. This recipe. You are making 300 every two. Wow. That's a lot. And then we need the water pump again. Oh, actually, we have water over here. Let's use this. And then this, this, this. 
Cliff in the way. Ah, Cliff. Clifford, why are you in the way? And then we're going over here. Actually, just pull it along as far as you can. Ah, we have to make it pretty. One there, one there, one there, one there. Two there. And then two over here, two over there. I need more pipe. Can I make some more pipe? Yeah. Make some in your pockets real quick. No wait, this won't work. There we go. They should be making enough moss to feed a few of them. Oh god, what happened? Uh, my GF and I were going to take advantage of the $200 international flights, but we wouldn't be able to get back. Ah, uh, okay. And, oh god, I just ran over my primary storage warehouse with my crawler. <laughs> oh. I remember one of my games um, of Angels and Bobs where I had a fall train, and the fall train was completely loaded to the brim with um, with bricks. And I was using the bricks to place it down for the trains to go over. And you do know that the bricks in... No, it was it was reinforced concrete. And No, it was normal concrete, not reinforced concrete, normal concrete. It was completely full with normal concrete, because those have the better graphic. And normal concrete, I think, stacks up to, I think, 2,000 in Angels and Bobs. And I had, I had it sitting in it in my construction train, and I was driving it manually. And I just wanted to go over the intersection, and another train just ran over it and destroyed it completely. And it was like 2 million concrete just gone. And I was just sitting like there. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> Good. Uh, this is making quite a lot of food for half of them. Yeah. Wait. This is making food for all of these. This is for the two. Yeah. <laughs> Positions, have a good night. Uh, we seeing you around. So we are making 32. I calculated this for 20, I think. If we have 32 of these, why isn't your cage going out? Oh, because we're full of blood. That's fine. If we have 32 of these, we need like 160 moss. We need one moss per second. <laughs> we actually need a little bit more than one moss per second. So, currently this is making a bit under one moss per second, but if we add another one to it, we are at one moss per second. And maybe let's place it... Yeah, this could work. And then under over, put it out. One moss per second. We have three of them. We're making 50 moss every 50 seconds. Equals to one moss per second. We actually need a little bit over one moss per second if we're using the other stuff. So, okay. Place this one. Copy paste. Go over. Go in. There we go. That's enough moss for all of these. Good! Uh, what's going on over here? Uh... Huh? How did this happen? Did you see anti-destroyer train? This is why loops are bad three years ago. 
Uh, no, not sure what you mean. And yes, this is fairy tale. <laughs> oh, only one, please. And then one here, one there, one there. Then this will be an input, 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 and then we need output, 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 paste, 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 I say. Get going. Make me some more juicy, juicy meat juice. And then one over here. The, oh, wait, other way around. Ah, oh, did I place those other ones correctly? I'm quite sure. Oh, I'm out of yellow. Ah, oh, what am I missing? Copper! No! <laughs> also, we just have to do it. Let's see, what's, what's a good tank? 8,000 liter? Yeah, sounds fine, doesn't it? Or one of these big boys. Let's make a big boy. Ah, you're shitting me. I can't go through here. Can I go through here? If I do like so, I can. One big boy, please. And then we're going to pick up some copper and make a ton more inserters. Oh, wait, I did see a Reddit post where a train got destroyed in a spectacular way. <laughs> where basically the own train destroyed itself. Yes, uh, links are allowed. Just go for it. Good. good, 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 good. So, blood for the blood god. There he is. Well, if we're going to do a lot of blood, we are going to store it. Now, we should also pick up some pipes. Blood! All of it! Yes! <laughs> we're going to have so much fun! Let's check this real quick. <laughs> that can happen really quick. But then that's what you get for driving manually. The good thing with uh, the, well, the, I'm not quite sure when the update came that it put it in, is that you can send your train a command to drive you somewhere. And that's just so much easier. Then your train just behaves uh, like the signals that are going past and it'll just be fine. Also, what's going on over here? You are not working. What were you? You were one of these. Put it in. So these are all working. Now we are going to fix these. So input, 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 input. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, fuck. How many of these are already out there? It was only these where this is different, isn't it? Yes. Ha! Huh. This is annoying. There may be some barrels on the other line. How do we get these barrels back? 
We can't use a long head inserter. Well, actually, no, we can't. <sighs> now I have to think about this. Let's power this up for now. So we have to get the barrels back on this side. Without being too obnoxious. I think we can do. Yes, this will work. Yeah, I have. No, wait. Almost. Yes. Go under here. Go under here. Oh, actually, no. This has to be a bit thicker. Then this will be the barrel. The barrel output. Then this one is going over there. Paste. There. <laughs> Works like charm. And now we have to implement this everywhere. So we are going to have to pick up some more underground belts. Oh, I'm also picking up barrels, which is a bit annoying. How many did I pick up? Quite a lot, it seems. One, two, paste, paste. And then go back in. When you're driving trains, uh, destroys many trains in Factorio for many players. Yes. How does that work? I haven't figured it out after all the new train GUI. Um, I think you shift click or control click where you want to go. I had a long break. I've been doing it in my Angels and Bobs all the time, but since I haven't played that in a while, I kind of completely forgot how it works. But it was quite easy. You just really just click it and then you go there. So let's see. This was actually fine. Um, put this over there. Put this, say, over there. Put you over there. Put you, you are there. Put you there. Put you there. And then this, this. Am I putting these barrels on the wrong side? Yes, I am. Uh, do it like this. Yes. And then merge them in. Now it works. <laughs> so this one, this one, these come over here, go, and then merge them in. And then out, out, paste, paste. Merge them in, power it up, have some fun with it. Then you're an input, you're an input, this goes. Remove this, remove this. Now we need some undergrounds. Let's craft a few in my pocket and then we're going to pick up a few. Uh, we're going to merge it up. I got an empty barrel, that's fine. And then place this and this, paste, paste. Power it up, power it up. And there we go, fixed it. The belt will also fix itself at some point. Let's pick up some more underground. Uh, control click is where the way you go. Shift click will take you to a station. Oh, really? <laughs> it does? 